Konnichiwa. In this video, you will learn how to say Japanese numbers from zero to twelve. Numbers are important to know as they are used in shopping, and telling one's age, telephone numbers, time, and addresses, etc. Now let's get started with Japanese numbers. One in Japanese is ichi, which sounds like ichi. Two in Japanese is ni, which sounds like the ni. Three in Japanese is san, which sounds like the san. So, ichi ni san sounds like I've got an ichi ni. And then the sun comes out. Now let's review these three numbers again: ichi, ni, san. Can you match each numerical number with its Japanese pronunciation? Let's begin with this one. It is ni. How about this one? It is san, and the last one is ichi. Four is she, which sounds like English she. Four has another reading, which is yong. Five is go, sounds like English go. Six is roku. Which sounds like a Roku box. So again, four, five, six sounds like she will go for a Roku box. I hope the images help you remember the sounds of these three numbers. Now let's review these three numbers. They are she or yong, go. And roku. Can you match each numerical number with its Japanese pronunciation? This one is she or yong. How about this one? Right, it is roku. There's only one left, which is go. Now let's review number one to six. They are ichi, ni, san, shi or yong, go, and roku. Let's practice number one to six together using a virtual die. So what number is this? In Japanese, it is ni. How about this number? It is san. How about this one? Go. And this one is roku. Ichi. There are two readings for this one, either she or yong. This is ni, and this is go. Now we will move on to number seven to ten. Seven in Japanese is shiji. Or nana. Nana sounds like nana, grandmother. Eight is hachi, as if nana will hatch a chicken. Number nine is ku or q. People are lining in a queue. Ten is ju. People are lining up in a queue to get juice. 
So now let's review seven, eight, nine, and ten, which are shichi or nana, hachi, ku or q, and then ju. Now match each numerical number with its Japanese pronunciation. We'll begin with the first one, which is ju. How about the second one, which is hachi? How about this one? It is shichi or nana. How about this one? It is ku or q. Next up is two virtual dice. Name the number on each die first in Japanese, then add the numbers together and name the sum in Japanese. So we just roll the dice. The one on the left is shi or yong. The one on the right is ichi, and the total is go. Let's roll again and name all three numbers. This one is ni, this one is shi, and this one is loku. This one is loku. This one is shi or yong, and the total is ju. Can you name these three numbers? This one is san, and this one is loku, and the total is q or ku. This one is ichi, this one is loku. And the total is shichi or nana. Let's do it one more time. This one is shi or yong. And six is loku. The total is ju. Let's count again from number one to ten. Ichi, ni, san. Shi or yong. Go. Loku. Shichi or nana. Hachi. Ku or q. And then ju. Eleven is ten plus one. Therefore, ju ichi. Twelve is ten plus two. Therefore, ju ni. Let's not forget zero. Zero in Japanese can be pronounced as zero, just like English, or le in Japanese. Make sure you look for the video on number eleven to one hundred. See you then.